In a recent video on this channel regarding Adobe Creative Cloud alternatives, many people asked, what's the best free Adobe Acrobat Pro alternative for editing PDF files? To that question, there is no simple answer. Adobe created and still owns most of the technologies associated with the PDF file format. While you won't find any free options with the full feature set of Adobe Acrobat Pro, there are free PDF editors that just may have the tools you need to edit your PDF files. I'll now show you the best free PDF editors that I've used and go over the key features of each program. In some cases, you might have to use more than one of these to get the desired result that you want. First up, in no particular order, is PDF Escape. It comes in two flavors. The free online editor can be used with the most popular browsers on any operating system. While their desktop program is only available for Windows and includes a trial of their premium edition. This video is not about trials or paid software, so let's focus in on their free online PDF editor. The key features include being able to create simple PDF forms, insert images from your PC, and you can create your own text. Unfortunately, existing text and images can't be changed. Back at the top of their webpage, to get started, select Free Online. Here you have the choice to create a new PDF document, upload a PDF from your PC, or load a PDF from the internet or one that you had previously opened. I'll choose Create New PDF Document. Click the drop down arrows to select your page count and size. PDF Escape supports up to 100 pages no larger than 10 megabytes. Then click on Create. In the tabs in the upper left, Insert includes tools to add text, images, and to white out any part of the document. Annotate includes the ability to add sticky notes, insert text, and a highlighting tool. And Page lets you move and crop the document. Another thing to point out, to save any document you create or edit to your PC when you're finished, select the download icon below the save icon. And then save the file wherever you want it. Small PDF is an editor with minimal features to edit a PDF in a very short period of time. You can use it for free online on any operating system, or use their premium desktop version for Windows and Mac. Their free online PDF editor offers a limited toolset to quickly add text, images, shapes, or draw on any PDF. It does not let you edit existing text or create a new PDF document. Near the top of their webpage, you have the choice to drop a file from your PC, or from your Google Drive or Dropbox account. Or you could just click on Choose File to locate the PDF on your system you'd like to edit. If you just need simplicity without a confusing interface, at the top there's a tool to add text. The size, font, and color can be changed. You can add an image from your computer, add a shape. The only choices are square, circle, and arrow. And there's a draw tool which lets you choose the color and thickness. When you're done making changes, Click on Apply at the bottom. It will let you know that your document is ready for download. You have the choice to download this file to your computer, create a link to share with others, and save it to your Dropbox or Drive account. You can also convert the document to a Microsoft Word or Excel format. With small PDF, there is a limit of two PDF edits within an hour. You could wait an hour to get two more free edits or upgrade to their pro plan to get unlimited access. Unlike the previous PDF editors mentioned, PDF Exchange Editor is for those of you looking for a way to edit existing text in a PDF document. While most of the tools are free, there are a small number of advanced tools, if used without a license, will place a watermark on your document. There are other free tools that do not require a license, including splitting PDFs, attaching comments, and OCR, which will recognize text in a scanned document even if it's only a printout and not the original file. With PDF Exchange Editor, there's no online version. It's only available for computers running Windows XP or newer. When you first open PDF Exchange Editor, you'll notice a ribbon at the top that is similar to Microsoft Office products. To change the text in an existing document, go to Edit, click on the arrow to make sure that text is selected, in the document, select the text that you would like to change. To be sure that you're using a free feature to avoid watermarks, 
Hover your mouse cursor over any feature to get the details. For example, modifying text is a free feature that does not require a license fee. But it says editing any other content, i.e. lines, shapes, images, etc. is not free and demo stamps will be placed on all of the pages if the file is saved. When you're finished editing, to choose a save location for your PDF file, go to File, Save As, and your choices are Box.com, Dropbox, Google Drive, OneDrive, SharePoint, or a local folder on your computer. Remember, after downloading, you can always run your PDF through another editor with a tool that is not free with PDF Exchange Editor to avoid that nasty watermark. A Power PDF is yet another PDF editor with two choices, Launch Online and Download Desktop. We'll ignore the Desktop Edition since it's only a trial of their premium product, which will watermark your PDFs. Their free online editor for use with most of the popular browsers is quite powerful with many useful features. You can add your own text and graphics, along with being able to edit existing text. You can create your own PDFs, and you can also split and merge pages. At the top of their site, the first time you select Launch Online, it will require that you download and install their launcher app. After it's installed, it will launch their online editor in a separate window. You have the choice to edit, create, or combine a PDF. I'll select Edit PDF. Find your file and open it. You have several tools located at the top. Create will let you start a new PDF document from scratch or from a file. You can have more than one document open at a time. For example, selecting blank document, making adjustments to the blank page settings if needed will open a new tab to easily switch between projects. Back at the top, you can convert your PDF to another file type, edit, and the rest that follow will open a toolbox on the right with additional options. The edit toolbox lets you add and edit text and images. Pages gives you several choices, including splitting and cropping your document. Protection allows you to encrypt your file with a password. Sign makes it easy to place a signature on your document. And Comment gives you various annotation and drawing tools to mark up your PDF. The popular vector graphics editor, Inkscape, is a powerful program which includes many functions for editing PDFs. This free and open source software is only available for download. There is no online edition. It offers a ton of features, including tools to edit images, edit existing text, and you can change the appearance of graphics within your PDF. The learning curve is high, and the number of tools available for many people will be overwhelming. If you've used Inkscape before or similar software, you should have no trouble. Otherwise, if you're keen on using this, I suggest you check out the numerous tutorials online. Here's a few tips. To quickly change a graphic, select the Transform tool in the left pane. Click on the image. You'll notice several arrows along the outside of the image. Left click and drag the arrows to alter the size and shape. Click and hold in the center to move it around. To add or change the color to a specific area of any graphic, back in the left pane, select the Fill Bounded Areas tool. At the bottom of the screen, pick your color and click the area where you'd like to add that color. An important note about saving, go to File in the upper left. Click on Save As. It will default to the SVG format type for saving. If you want to save the document as a PDF, for Save As type, select the drop-down arrow and choose Portable Document Format before saving. Inkscape is available for the major operating systems, including Windows, Linux, and Mac. Thanks for watching. Links are in the description. If you know of a free PDF editor not mentioned that you think we should try out, let us know about it in the comments. And if you haven't done so already, subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified of the latest top fives and other tech-related stuff from Tech Gumbo.